All right, today I have the E-Flight 1.2 meter Cherokee. The Cherokee, or Piper PA-28, is a four-place civilian aircraft with very similar performance to the Cessna 172. Now, it was first introduced in the early 1960s and has become the fourth most produced air civilian aircraft uh, with over, I think, 32,000 built. We'll be looking at setting up this bind and fly version, which has smart technology like safe mode stabilization and telemetry. So let's get started. Open Sesame. There are two sides of well-packed plane parts. Starting with the main gear wheel pants, which are made of painted plastic with foam wheels and aerodynamic strut covers. So let's take a peek at the wings, which have unpainted white foam with blue painted wing tips. There are some nice rivet detail and panel line details. I was happy to see finer decal details as well. Underneath, you have hidden and semi-hidden control servos with offset hinge flaps. Wing roots have quick connector plugs for servos and lights. There are actually quite a few lights, including two on each wingtip. Wing spar is a carbon fiber tube. If you break that, you've got more serious problems to worry about. Opposite side of box has a fuselage bits. Elevator also has Cherokee distinctive corrugation detail. Fuselage is quite substantial for this plane's size. Though it looks like the pilot had a rough time in transit. We'll get them all fixed up. More panel line detail. And electrical receptacles for the wings. The unique elevator control mechanism caught my attention. Nose gear is pretty cool looking too. It looks like a big old headlight in the front cowl. So let's take a look under the hood. Where we have some standard sub micro servos for tail control. What looks to be a voltage regulator, maybe for the lights, and the six channel receiver with safe stabilization. Barely seen is a 70 amp avian speed controller rated for an impressive six cells and IC3 battery connector. Stock propeller is a 10 by seven with painted tips. So about that wayward pilot, I found I could carefully peel back the canopy glue joint to gain access to my discombobulated buddy. Don't worry little guy, I gotcha. Some silicon glue will put them back in place. While I was in there, I fired up the bamboo 3D printer and printed up a control yoke for a bit of extra detail. Which I simply glued into the cockpit. I do say it looks pretty cool. Manual is concise and easy to follow. All right, enough for the preamble. Assembly starts with removing the tail cover. So you can install the full flying elevator. Just be sure it is the right way up. The main gear plugs into the wings and has little covers that act as mounting brackets. Now the wings can be installed. Which fit like a glove. Screw in four screws and you're done. <laughs> I almost missed the antenna piece. That screws into the canopy hatch lever. You'll need to pull off the spinner in order to bolt the propeller on. The Cherokee can use both 2200 milliamp hour and 3200 milliamp hour four cell battery packs. 
Even with a 3200 size, there's plenty of room for the battery. While I was thinking of it, I decided to mark the bounce location. Shh, don't tell anybody, I wrote on the plane. I was curious if the transmitter setup files were available, so I went to the Spectrum website. Where under manuals and support, there is a link to transmitter presets. Which, curiously enough, brings up a PDF document with links to the NX Share drive. In the eFlight folder, I pretty quickly found a Cherokee transmitter file and downloaded it to a micro SD card. Then insert the card into the transmitter. Where in the system setup menu, you can import the model file very easily. Bind a transmitter by holding down the bind button. And she's alive! Safety first, activate the throttle cut. Okay, now I know the model defaults in safe mode. You can tell when you tilt the wing and the LR moves out of neutral. So the manual says to use channel 5 to toggle the safe mode on and off. Channel 5 is marked as the gear channel. But that channel is assigned to a switch I don't want to use. So back to the system setup menu. Then channel assign. Now change channel 5 to switch B. Now that I have channel 5 assigned to my preferred switch, one last thing is to tell the receiver of my channel assignment for safe mode. You do this by crossing the sticks and toggling the sign switch five times. Now I can toggle the safe mode on and off remotely. I like that the flaps are already set up with slow motion. One other thing I noticed is that when I turn safe mode on, the receiver automatically mixes in a bit of rudder with aileron input. It doesn't do that with safe mode off. All systems are go! We are ready for flight. Hi, thanks for watching. Please take a look at the video description below for special hobby view sales and discounts. Your purchases help support this channel. Happy modeling! Now the Cherokee is a, or... What the heck? It was first introduced in an early 19... Oh, that's a, what? He's alive? Where is he? Where is he? Die! All bugs must die. There you are, you little bastard.